Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and specifically why it appears there is no Battle Frontier on the map of the new remakes, and why, in my humble opinion, one that is going to get me quite a bit of hate on the internet, I mean, I think it's a good thing. I don't really think the Battle Frontier is all that good. I don't think it's ever been all that good. It's been a nice anime arc for the show. But it's not that good, and to see it not in these remakes is not that big of a loss. Let's jump right into things. Now we pretty much know from the map that was officially revealed back in the Pokemon Presents in August that the Battle Frontier is not happening. If the Battle Frontier was in the Sinnoh region in these remakes, we'd have seen it on the map, but when we looked at the map, we got a good look at it. We only saw the Battle Tower, which means they really are going off of Diamond and Pearl. Now, of course, if you guys don't remember, Diamond and Pearl actually didn't have the Battle Frontier. It was included in Platinum once that game came out. It's the same thing as what it was in Ruby and Sapphire. It wasn't in there and then in Emerald, the Battle Frontier was included. Diamond and Pearl just had the Battle Tower, and it looks as if, yet again, in another remake, the Battle Frontier is not making its return, and it just feels as if this is a feature that Game Freak just doesn't care about and doesn't really want to include. And I'm gonna make a controversial statement here. I kind of tend to agree with them. I, growing up, uh, as I've gotten older and I've played more competitive Pokemon as opposed to just playing through the story, even though that is still my preference today, I've never been a big fan of the Battle Frontier. I've never found it to be particularly engaging. I've never found it to be incredibly rewarding. I just want to state right off the bat before people get angry, I understand that this is a little bit of a clickbaity video because I don't, don't inherently say in the thumbnail that I'm basically just giving my opinion about the Battle Frontier today, but that's kind of what I'm doing. I think it makes perfect sense that the Battle Frontier is not included. It's a remake of Diamond and Pearl. It's not a remake of Platinum. It's a feature that they've clearly wanted to move away from in recent years. I mean, listen, there was literally no excuse not to include the Battle Frontier in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I understand that it wasn't in Ruby and Sapphire, but they made a point to code in a basically a structure in the Battle uh, Maison area, Battle Mansion, whatever the heck it's called, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, saying, coming soon, Battle Frontier. That's just a tease to screw with fans. That's just them laughing at fans, in my opinion. They clearly don't really value the Battle Frontier the way that some members of the community do. And I agree with them. Never been the biggest fan of the Battle Frontier, and I have a couple reasons as to why I think that. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, you can fix that by hitting the subscribe button below, and you will never miss a single upload that I post onto this channel. And it just, it's good sense. It helps me. It shows me that you guys want to see more of these videos. It's, it is an ever-serving, ever-evolving, mutually beneficial agreement. So be sure to hit that subscribe button today, and you will never miss another upload. I want to get off this right, just right from the beginning. Uh, I'm not a competitive Pokemon player. I don't enjoy competitive battling, but I see the appeal of competitive battling because you're playing against another person, someone real, whether it's a friend or someone online, there is an inherent rush of, of vigor and emotion and excitement if you win one of those battles. And there is an entire ranking system online for Pokemon battles that is something tangible. My biggest problem with the Battle Frontier ever since it originally came out is I did not feel that there were any tangible reasons to do it. In Emerald, you did get battle symbols, which you could collect and get from every single facility, but it's not as if you were raising your Pokemon to be stronger in the Battle Frontier. It's not as if you could even use your own team in every single facility. And for the way that I play Pokemon, that isn't incredibly appealing to me. The biggest appeal of Pokemon to me is that I get to build a team that I then go on a journey with. I grow with that team. I continue to advance, get badges, experience the story, explore a region with this team of Pokemon that I chose for myself. And for a lot of the Battle Frontier, that's kind of stripped away. 
And when you play through the Battle Frontier, there's no level progression. You don't level up your team. You're not gaining experience. You're not getting closer to maybe an evolution or to getting a new move or something to that effect. It feels very sectioned off from what the experience of Pokemon is, and it feels more like a mini game. Now listen. I understand that for a lot of people, the fact that it is more sectioned off, the fact that it is more difficult than gym battles or than the main story of a Pokemon game is part of the appeal. The part that it is something that you can just do and enjoy on its own. I understand that. But for the way that I play Pokemon, for the way that I enjoy this franchise, none of that appeals to me. So when we got the map from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and we saw that the Battle Frontier was non-existent, it really didn't phase me and it almost made me a little happy. And the reason I say that is I think that you could make an improved, better Battle Frontier. I think you could make a way, and this goes the same way with contests. I think in a future Pokemon world where they're trying to really broaden the appeal of what the base game is, I think you could see something like the Battle Frontier or something like contests take on a newer and a higher level of importance. You could bake it into progression. You could bake it into the story. There's always been this dream when you're younger of like, oh, I want to be a coordinator or I want to take on the gym challenge like Ash does or want to be like Dawn or May. A lot of a lot of kids when you're growing up kind of fashion themselves as one of those two. But what if in the future you could have that option of getting a Battle Frontier post game that is more like the anime where you're still growing with your team. You're getting an entirely new badge uh, a badge box to collect symbols in as you progress, just as Ash does. Make it feel more like an event and less like a mini game. Make it feel like something that is a progression of your game and not so much that it's just something arbitrary that you do as well. You're like, oh, I could go to the battle frontier. I could try keep fighting the battle tower or I could keep going after this symbol. There's also different versions of the symbols. I believe in platinum, there's a bronze one and a gold one and all of this. You need to make it more incentivized. The appeal of the battle frontier for me just isn't there. There's no incentive structure to want to continue playing it, especially when you get into those gimmicky versions of it. Now, of course, I've spent the last uh, seven or eight minutes basically ragging on the Battle Frontier as a feature. With that being said, for fans who enjoy it and for people who are nostalgic for it being in previous games, I agree that it should come back. They should add it into these games just because it was only the Battle Tower in Diamond and Pearl and they didn't add it until Platinum. That doesn't mean you don't include a key feature, especially, and I've mentioned this in a bunch of my BDSP videos up to this point, you're remaking a game which the developers even said at the time that Platinum was their ultimate version. Platinum was the best version of Pokemon that they had made. It was the perfected version of Generation 4. To be going in and saying, we're gonna dissect specific features, we're not gonna include them, we're gonna leave them out, just for the sake of preserving some kind of sense of a sense of a remake and something that oh we've we're trying to replicate what we did before that's nonsense they should include the battle frontier regardless of the fact that i don't like it i don't think it's a very good facility and i want to hear it from you guys what do you think about the battle frontier in general do you think it should be in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? And do you want to put my head on a spike for making this video? Because honestly, I woke up last week and I thought to myself, let's talk about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and how can I annoy people? Oh, I know. I'll finally share my Battle Frontier take. So I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. And as I mentioned before, if you're not subscribed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It does a ton to show me that you're enjoying the videos and that you want to see more like this one. With that being said, I have been Linky. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.